Earth was losing the war against the Zorgons. Despite humanity's valiant efforts, the technologically advanced alien race had pushed our forces to the brink of collapse. Their energy weapons and impenetrable shields made our conventional arms look like mere toys. Hope was fading fast. Deep within a secret underground bunker, a team of Earth's brightest minds worked tirelessly to find a solution. Led by the brilliant physicist doctor, James Hoffman, the scientists pored over captured Zorgon technology, desperately seeking a weakness to exploit. We're running out of time, Dr. Hoffman said, rubbing his bloodshot eyes. If we don't find a way to neutralize their tech soon, we're done for. His second-in-command, Doctor. Michael Chen looked up from his workstation. I think I might have something, James. Take a look at this. Dr. Hoffman hurried over, his heart pounding with anticipation. On the screen was a complex diagram of the Zorgon's energy weapons. Dr. Chen pointed to a specific component. See this? It's the primary power source for their weapons. If we can find a way to disrupt it, we might be able to render their tech useless. Dr. Hoffman's eyes widened. Brilliant, Michael. Let's get to work. For days, the team labored around the clock, running simulations and testing theories. Progress was slow, but each small breakthrough brought them closer to their goal. Finally, after weeks of grueling work, they had a prototype. It was a sleek, handheld device that emitted a pulsating electromagnetic field. In theory, it would disrupt the Zorgon's power sources, effectively neutralizing their weapons and shields. We need to test it, Doctor, Hoffman said, his voice trembling with excitement. But how? We can't exactly walk up to a Zorgon and ask them to shoot at us. Dr. Chen grinned. Leave that to me. I have a plan. Under the cover of darkness, Dr. Chen and a small team of Special Forces soldiers infiltrated a Zorgon outpost. The mission was dangerous, but if successful, it could turn the tide of the war. As they crept through the alien compound, Dr. Chen clutched the prototype tightly. His heart raced as they approached a group of Zorgon soldiers, their energy weapons at the ready. Now Dr. Chen shouted, activating the device. A shimmering wave of energy pulsed outward, engulfing the Zorgon soldiers. For a moment nothing happened. Then, their weapons sputtered and died, their shields flickering out of existence. The human soldiers wasted no time opening fire with their conventional weapons. The Zorgons, caught off guard and defenseless, fell quickly. Dr. Chen let out a triumphant shout. It works. We did it. News of the successful field test spread quickly. The device, dubbed the Equalizer, was mass-produced and distributed to Earth's forces across the galaxy. The tide of the war began to turn. With their technological advantage nullified, the Zorgons found themselves on equal footing with the human soldiers. Battles that had once been one-sided slaughters became fierce, evenly matched conflicts. Lieutenant Jack Reynolds, a seasoned veteran of the war, led his platoon into battle against a Zorgon stronghold. Armed with the Equalizer, they charged forward, their spirits high. Remember, men LT. Reynolds shouted over the din of battle, the Equalizer may have leveled the playing field, but it's still up to us to win this fight. Give AM hell. The human soldiers fought with renewed vigor, their determination and courage more than a match for the Zorgon's once superior technology. Inch by inch, they pushed the aliens back, reclaiming the stronghold. As the dust settled, L.T. Reynolds surveyed the battlefield, his chest swelling with pride. The Equalizer had given them a fighting chance, but it was the bravery and resilience of his men that had truly made the difference. Back on Earth, Dr. Hoffman and his team watched the reports of human victories pour in. They had done it. They had given humanity a chance to win this war. But the fight was far from over. The Zorgons, though weakened, were still a formidable foe. They adapted their tactics, seeking ways to counter the Equalizer's effects. The war raged on, each side locked in a desperate struggle for survival. Human ingenuity and courage clashed against Zorgon desperation and cunning. In the end, it was the indomitable human spirit that prevailed. With the Equalizer in hand and an unwavering determination in their hearts, Earth's forces pushed the Zorgons back, liberating planet after planet. The final battle took place on the Zorgon homeworld. LT, Reynolds, now a battle-hardened general, led the charge. The Equalizer hummed in his hand as he faced down the Zorgon leader, 
a towering figure clad in ornate armor. Your reign of terror ends here, General Reynolds declared, his voice steady. Surrender now, and your people will be spared. The Zorgon leader laughed, a harsh, grating sound. Foolish human, you may have your toy, but you cannot defeat us. We will fight to the last. General Reynolds shook his head. So be it. The battle was fierce, but with the equalizer on their side, the human forces were unstoppable. They surged forward, overwhelming the Zorgon defenses and cornering their leader. In the end, the Zorgon leader lay at General Reynolds' feet, his armor shattered and his spirit broken. How he rasped. How did you do it? General Reynolds smiled, holding up the equalizer. With this. And with the courage and determination of the human race. Never underestimate us. The war was over. Earth had emerged victorious, thanks to the brilliance of Dr. Hoffman and his team and the bravery of soldiers like General Reynolds. As the human forces celebrated their hard-won victory, Dr. Hoffman stood before a cheering crowd, the equalizer held high. This device may have helped us win the war, he said, his voice ringing out across the square, but it was the strength and unity of the human race that truly made the difference. We stood together, fought together, and triumphed together. Let this be a lesson to any who would threaten U.S. humanity will never back down. Never surrender. We will always find a way to overcome, no matter the odds. The crowd erupted into applause, their cheers echoing across the war-torn landscape. Earth had proven its mettle, and the Equalizer had played a crucial role. But as Dr. Hoffman looked out at the sea of faces, he knew that the true power lay in the indomitable human spirit, a force that no alien technology could ever hope to match.